Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Somebody thinks that there's unfinished business, but there's not. You're breaking the ties here to a connection, okay? There's no more unfinished business. I feel like um, you're breaking free from this and you're... Uh, I feel like you're happy being single, to tell you the truth. I think you'd rather be single than, you know, than wait a around for this person to get their act together. I feel like there is some unfinished business on their end. They feel like they need to um, talk to you, apologize, try to get you back. They're having a lot of anxiety and stress over this. But I feel like what's really got this person panicked is the fact that you're single. Okay, you're single, you're ready to mingle, okay, and you're ready for love. Um, and this person doesn't like you out here being single. You could even be like on a vacation right now. You could be looking good, feeling good. I feel like you're celebrating yourself, okay, because you're holding a little glass of champagne here. Maybe treating yourself on a, on a little trip. You could be spending a lot of time around water. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe a Virgo. I'm feeling Virgo energy here. But yeah, you're leaving this person behind. They can feel that disconnect. And now I'm picking up on a song for you guys that <laughs> I feel like you're about to attract somebody new into your life. Um, I'm hearing um, uh, uh, Kiss the Girl by... Uh, it's from the movie Little Mermaid, okay? There you see her sitting there across the way. <laughs> she don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. Yeah. And you don't know why, but you're dying to try. You got to kiss the girl, right? <laughs> I love that song. Anyway, yeah, so I feel like you're getting, you're getting new love here. Somebody's about to take some kind of chance and come towards you. This is somebody who's getting their confidence up. They may be even having a shot of courage. Oh, they are going to want to charm you, okay? Oh, yeah, this person, they're going to want to charm the pants off of you, collective. Yep, this is going to change some things. This, I feel like, oh, look, it's a new soulmate connection. This could be your true twin flame, okay? Oh, yeah. And they don't know why, but they're dying to try. They got to kiss the girl, right? They don't know. that They're going to feel an intense pull, um, towards you, okay? This could very well be a, your divine connection. The person that you were dealing with in the past, the one who's having panic attacks, I feel like that person may have been a karmic, okay? And you're breaking free from that. And somebody's about to take a step towards you. Okay, this I'm seeing as the fool card. This is wanting to start a new adventure, wanting to take that leap of faith. You know, they don't know why, but they're dying to try. They want to kiss the girl. Yeah, and here's that music, right? <laughs> Wind. Yeah, strings. I'm telling you, you got you, you to gotta look up that song, okay? Just um, look it up. There should be a video on YouTube about it, you know? YouTube has everything, right? Um, anyway, yeah, so, yeah. This is that song, Strings, Wind. And your person from your past, they're in a karmic storm right now. Um, they could be in a home situation, right, with a karmic snake. Okay, but look, oh my gosh, you're attracting the attention of a lot of people. Somebody's about to come in and flirt with you. They're going <laughs> to, oh, you're about to get someone new collective. And you're, this person from your past, they're still with a karmic. They're in a home situation, but all these two do is fight about you. Um, your, uh, your ex is mad. They're angry, especially when they find out that you're meeting this new person. 
Yeah, and in that movie, the the um, the man was a prince. So yes, I feel like you are um, meeting your prince charming here, like for real. And this is going to transform everything for you. I'm also getting that this is like your new beginning, okay? But this is that song playing. You could have recently heard that song or watched that movie, Little Mermaid. Um, or maybe you'll hear that song or something um, right before you meet this person. Uh, oh, I feel like they're already looking at you. You know, they've already noticed you. There you see her sitting there across the way. Yeah, um, this could be somebody that you work with. Oh, you're masculine from your past. They're going to be in a lot of regret. They know, they already know they made the wrong choice here. They're worried. Um, they're very worried that you're um, going to get someone new. And you know what? They can feel it, and they're absolutely right. You are getting someone new. Someone new is coming into your energy right now. And this person's going to be awesome. You may meet them at a party, at a celebration, an event. You're definitely going to meet this person in public somewhere at some kind of social gathering. Okay? You could be out with your friends. Um... Just, you know, going out for a girl's night and bump into this person. They're going to see you from across the way. And you may be in this, uh, like, not, uh, she ain't got a lot to say, but there's something about her, right? I feel like um, you kind of keep to yourself. Maybe you, um, you know, you may be going to a celebration or an event and you're not used to it, you know, because uh, you you've have felt single for a very long time, alone, in isolation. Okay, so maybe you don't got a lot to say, but there's, but there's something about you, right? Um, yeah, and this person approaches you at some kind of event or a party or a gathering, a social gathering. They want to talk to the one person who isn't, like, being obnoxious and <laughs> kind of, you know, you're keeping to yourself during this social event, okay? Yeah, you've got a secret crush, man. I feel like um, you may actually want this person as well, okay? I feel like, too, your person from your past may have some addictions, some toxic addictions that they're trying to keep secret from you. You may already can feel that, though. They are totally stuck in a toxic lifestyle. I feel like now is when you need to switch focus, okay, and focus on the new stuff that's coming in. Um, I feel like you're, you may already see somebody um, or know somebody that you have a crush on, it says something in the song. Does I don't know all the words to the song, you guys, but doesn't it say something like, um, she may feel the same way about you, why don't you ask her? Um, what does he say? Oh, it's driving me crazy now. Something about asking the girl if she likes you. or I, I feel like you may feel the same way about this person. I'm telling you. Yeah, you are at a crossroads. This is you. You have a choice in love. This is a turning point. Okay? Um, you're trying not to focus on this person from your past. Even though you can pick up intuitively what's going on with them in the background... I feel like you're having a hard time completely keeping your mind off of them, okay? You can only open one of these doors. Which door do you want? Do you want the door to the future or do you want the door to the past? I feel like you already know, but still, this person from your past keeps like seeping into your mind once in a while, um, but spirit wants you to... Just keep a straight focus, okay? And I feel like someone else has already caught your attention. You're definitely getting their attention, okay? I feel like all uh, this new person 
once they see you sitting there across the way, they're not, um, they're not, they're not going to want to be focusing on anything else. Okay. They're only going to want you and you are attracting new attention to you like a magnet right now. Um, so you're in Empress energy. You're going to stand out of the crowd. I kind of get the sense that you try to sort of fit in, blend in. Maybe, maybe you don't, um, you don't know what to do if somebody notices you, you know, like I said, you're used to being in isolation, but this person notices you out of everyone um, who's around you. You're the one who stands out and you're going to notice them too. Um, you're both going to be attracted to each other. This is your greener grass. This, I keep seeing this card in this reading on the bottom of the deck. This is your greener grass. There's this new person coming in, this new connection. I feel like it's um, it's a better option. Yeah, thank you. It says that right here on the card. It's a better option for you. You're going to be getting some kind of signs, synchronicities, um, repetitive numbers maybe, uh, some kind of sign from the universe when you're about to meet this person or when you do meet this person. You know, I kind of want to laugh because I can see you sitting around with a bunch of friends and people are, somebody starts maybe singing that song. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to really stand out. I don't know who that's for, but you're going to definitely be meeting somebody here real soon. And I feel like this is going to be the person that you choose to be with. Okay, this new person. Yeah, see, this is your choice. I feel like you've got a choice between a new person and somebody who played you in the past. Okay, you may even be worried, um, wondering if this new person is going to play you. Because I feel like you've hurt, been hurt so many times before. But this one here is meant to be. Okay, it says so right here, meant to be destiny predetermined. So I feel like this new person coming in is going to be your true twin. Okay. I'm telling you, Collective, and you're going to see some signs, but I want you to use your discernment and your intuition with everyone who approaches you. Look, yeah, relationship on the bottom of the deck. This is going to be your next new boo, right? Boyfriend, girlfriend. This is going to lead to a commitment. Look at, you're both such a good match for each other. Oh my gosh, and underneath that is a wedding. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is going to definitely lead to a commitment. This is the one, okay? This one here. Now, it's your choice, right? But I feel like you're trying to close the door on this past person because you know they're wrapped up in a karmic situation where there's a lot of, there could be a lot of addictions, a lot of codependency, a lot of secrets, um, a lot of lustful energy. I feel like you're, you're breaking free from that. And um, just try to retain your focus on what's coming towards you. I feel like that's all you need to do. Just, you know, go with the flow every day. And as you go with the flow every day, just constantly try to focus on the new stuff. I, I'm, I'm really feeling like that is totally what you're trying to do. And this person, this new one coming in, this person has already been through an enlightenment. They've learned life lessons. They're awakened, okay? So this person, this new person's ready for you. You're, you're about to get an unexpected date, okay? Um, they're going to start calling you, texting you. It's it's going to be different from what you're used to. You're used to isolation. But now uh, you're about to be in a, in a commitment, in a relationship with someone new. So get ready, okay? Um, let's see what your oracles have to say. And this ex, um, your ex-lover, right? They're going to be very jealous. They're, gonna, they're already wishing 
um, that they would have chosen you. Okay, but um, they've, they're have they still in this codependent, nasty relationship where these people, all they do is fight about you, um, do their little addictions, you know. They're not really doing their work in changing their lifestyle. They're falling way behind. Yeah, so use your discernment, use your intuition. Okay, and I feel like you already know that um that you're you want to break free from this connection from the stagnancy from the betrayal from from any kind of karmic ties right you're being led in, uh, to an in a new direction and it's closing out the cycle with a 10. yep yep you're gonna you're about to be swept off your feet by somebody new yes you are and I feel like I kind of get the sense that this is like your emperor, um, somebody who's going to protect you, somebody who's going to stand by you. I'm also seeing this as somebody that you've actually manifested, you know, um, even though you may be nervous about dating and putting yourself back out there. I feel like you you were look you were not looking for love, but you were thinking about it. And that's the, uh, that's the biggest manifestation tool is your thoughts okay so i feel like you've manifested this new person and they're coming in and they're going to sweep you off your feet like for real that's what this is someone new with the yin sweeping you off your feet it's going to feel very magical okay when you meet this new person and this is like a true soulmate connection this is going to be a very deep soulmate connection for you. All right, so what else can you show me about this new person? <laughs> oh, yeah. See, the one who left you orphaned still doesn't know what they're doing. They still feel very stuck. There's still a lot of stagnancy. Okay, spirit wants you to not think about this last person. Sweep that energy out. And let the divine lead you to your Ten of Cups. Ultimate wish fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment. A blessing in love. Okay? The Land of Milk and Honey. This is the Ten of Cups card in this deck. Um, yeah, this is like a lucky serendipitous moment here. You're about to meet your true twin. You are. Just get ready. Um, I feel like spirit wants you to cleanse, cleanse this energy. So like burn some sage, right? Take a spiritual bath. Try to concentrate on cleansing yourself of the past energy, right? Um, and focus on the new stuff coming in. This new, this new person coming in, they're coming in pretty fast. Like this is, this is going to happen quickly, Okay. Um, so get ready, collective. Woo -woo. 